Hello everyone, welcome to GeoGuessr. This is Colonel RPG, and I'm very happy to have you here exploring the world. GeoGuessr is a, well, it's a game, it's a game that uses Google Maps, so you can guess where each location is. And the world is beautiful and full of very interesting places that I've never been to. But even still, I find myself playing this game time and again. It's such an amazing game. And, uh, well, it's a really, really great idea. And I wanted to share it with you guys and uh, have some good times with you. Let's see. Let's start a single-player campaign. It's just five, five maps. And here we are. This is the game. You just choose. Excuse my crappy internet. The download is kind of, yeah, slow. But, yeah. So, as you can see here, you can see that uh, the Google car is apparently in the left side of the road. Where could we be? There's a guy there. We can... We can move in, can zoom in, but we can also move the road, and I'm gonna do just that, so I can approach him a little bit, although if he's going that direction, it might be the case that we are not gonna reach him. Yeah, well, let's see. If I move up over here, and zoom back a little bit so I have a little bit more field of vision, I can see that this road... Ooh, what is that? It's that... Is that a solar-powered uh, traffic light or something? It could be. So yeah, it leads credence to my idea that this is a, a country that drives on the left side of the road. But also look at the skies, look at the... Uh, oh, there's somebody coming. Oh, cool. Look at the, uh, the trees. It's very important to pay attention to all the details so you are able to see and guess where you are in the world right now. So I would say that this... Oh, this is eucalyptus. Is this eucalyptus? Could it be... It kind of looks like... Yeah, it kind of looks like, could it be, so who drives on the left side of the road? South Africa, maybe? It kind of looks like Africa. The sky, yeah, these these clouds, I see sometimes these over here, but I don't know. With that, that, hmm. So could it be, it's probably not the uh, United Kingdom, is it? Hmm, probably not. So I will say that this is somewhere near... Australia, so New Zealand, maybe, maybe. Let's go, let's go, South Papua New Guinea, New Guinea. So let's guess New Zealand, and let's see where we are in the world. I was very close. This was Australia. Didn't know Australia drove on the right, left side of the track, but uh, there we go. Pretty, pretty close. I, the reason I why I chose to share this game with you guys is because I find that I am pretty awesome at the game. I, I'll. Well, I, I like my results, and this one is definitely one of those. It's not very close, but alas, I, I try my best. So, this one, a foreign, foreign uh, view to me, completely foreign. Again, this looks like we're, no, this time around I think we're driving on the right side of the road. But, look at how the streets are painted. These seem to be very low quality tarmac, and I would say, hmm, maybe it's old, but why is it painted in yellow? That's an interesting question. We can move, oh, actually, if you have patience enough, you can just go on forever, and the game will take you wherever you desire, as long as you tell it where you are. But let me check these houses here, because they look like Eastern, Eastern Europe, I'd say? I mean, it kinda does look like a little farm of sorts, this is modern day, this is not old school stuff, this is not old photo, it's probably 2014 or something of the sort. There's a little pony or a horse right there, that's very, very cool. And uh, when you see cars, cars are very important, you see a car right there? Yeah, that's a car right there. I will move back and try to figure out what that is. It kind of looks like a Volvo to me. Uh, I don't know, maybe an American car? It is an American car, so I would say, judging by the landscape, I would say that we are in somewhere near Arizona, perhaps? Yeah, this, I think the US has these sort of yellow lines and it's like a highway or sort of thing in the US. But of course, I wouldn't know. Let's see, let's guess Arizona. Or maybe somewhere down here, somewhere New Mexico, Colorado, maybe? Or, hmm. Yeah, let's let's guess somewhere around here. Let's go, let's go with Colorado and miss and fail miserably because that's happens as well oh very close very very close i am loving this run loving this run already that was wyoming wyoming and look at this 
very beautiful countryside right now. We don't have this sort of stuff, these rolling hills. We don't have here that here in Portugal. I've never been lucky enough to find a Portuguese uh, road here in this game, even though I played it for upwards of, well, I was gonna say 10 hours, but probably not. Probably not. Let's see, we have a car there, and I can zoom in and see that it is a, well, let's see, this is, this is America. Yeah, America. Yeah, this is definitely America. It's not... Yeah, this looks like... I would say Maine? Maybe. Maine is a very varied, varied um, state. But this definitely looks like Eastern Coast America. Or US, rather. Um, let's see. Again, the yellow lines. Again, the yellow lines. Uh, so I would say... Yeah, that's definitely an American car right there. Uh, is it? Isn't it? Uh, it actually could be a, a Hyundai. That, yeah, this is America. This is definitely America. I wouldn't be able to tell you where. I was gonna say either yeah, Eastern Coast. Let's go with the Eastern Coast. Definitely not the South. So, as South as New Jersey, maybe. Maybe. Let's guess Pennsylvania. Yeah, let's go with that. Pennsylvania, of course, does have... Does have yeah, let's go ahead and just guess Pennsylvania here and see where that takes us. Oh, very close again, 405 kilometers. Of course, I'm Portuguese, so I see it in, in, in metrics. But there we go, that was 250 miles away, and this was Pennsylvania. Scranton, Pennsylvania, almost in Scranton, of course. For those of you fans of The Office, you know where Sc Scranton is. Mountaintop, it seems to be somewhere in between Berwick and Mountaintop. So there we go. Uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. This is a good run for me, really good run, though. Sometimes I fail completely. So there's five, as you can see up here, there's four out of five. And look at this. This looks like... Where? Okay, so they drive on the right side of the road. It looks like... So we know that Australia... Now I know that Australia drives on the left side of the road. And I should know that because I have seen Top Gear Australia and enjoyed it very much. Oh, 70 miles, uh, not miles an hour, this is a kilometer, see, this is not the US, you see, these little details, they, they are matter a lot in this game. So, I would say, these are Kiwis plantations, I think, maybe, it could be just wine, a uh, vineyard, uh, no, yeah, it's vineyard, I think, so, nah, that's weird, why is it vineyard in this? It's definitely not here in the I Iberian Peninsula, for sure. So, I would say that we are, hmm, this does not look like place that I can tell where we are but there's something over there let's check that I check that over there and try to cheat a little bit it's it's normal to do this I mean it's it's kind of the game you need, just need to look at the letters because sometimes you see Cyrillic and you tell okay we're in Russia right here though or not Russia I mean it could be anywhere in Eastern Europe uh, actually I it's very easy to, to tell when it is Eastern Europe excuse the hiccup right now uh, so I can tell really anything from there I can tell that they have a similar well, it's basically universal, this little sign here. Unfortunately, I can't really look... Oh, there's something here. What is that? What is that? And the... That's a D. A Vin D. It could be Spain. Is it Spain? If it is D, could be... Could it be Portugal? I mean, I guess, but it's gotta be central Portugal, not here in the north. I mean, I don't think so. Look at the vastness of this of this horizon, man. It's There's no no mountains near, anywhere nearby. We do have these sort of... Let's go over there. Let's go over there to that side and try to... Um, yes, but no, this is not Portugal. We don't have those signs so low to the ground. Yeah, those, this is not Portugal. It could be Spain. Spain has... Oh, my bad. Spain has these, um, these landscapes, I would think. Maybe... Could be Spain? I don't know. It's gotta be central Spain, though. But that, that, that number, that, that D in the middle, could it be Italy? Oh, there's a Ford Transit right there. Okay, so this is definitely Europe. Where, though? I wouldn't be able to tell. It could be Germany, could be anywhere. I don't know. I wouldn't know. That's a Ford Transit right there. No, it's a Renault. Is it a Renault? I guess I'm looking at that thing right there. And, of course, my internet is crap. Yeah, it is a Renault combo. No, I don't know. I don't really can't. I can't really tell. I'm confused. Uh, it's a Mitsubishi? What is that? <laughs> sort of the awesome things. Yeah, it's definitely a Renault, I think. Or a Ford, I don't know. I, th I think the shape is a Ford Transit, so at the front. I, have, I haven't paid it too, my, too much attention. There's something there. I haven't paid too much attention to the uh, development of new vents. There we go. I'm gonna guess that this is Spain. 
and hi to nuestros hermanos right here next to our my country uh, so let's say that let's say that this is Spain I am gonna be extremely wrong on this thing but if I'm not well it's probably not Madrid oh it's France very close very very close of course completely different country but still very very close and now for our last round yeah this game is just amazing and oh look at this every once in a while every once in a while you're gonna get these oh oh I should know where this is I should know where this is but unfortunately I do not oh there's a car there that's gonna tell me if it's Canada or oh it's definitely oh is it is it a Russian car or is it uh, one of those old yeah what is that I, I need to tell what that car is it looks like an American car but I wouldn't be able to tell for sure let's see okay I should know where this is to really know this looks very much like Maine or something other than you know Eastern US yeah let's guess up there up there the the northernmost I think it's northernmost uh, um, yeah let's guess up here Let's see oh totally wrong it was Sweden I guessed for I oh Sweden oh man I, I thought it was gonna be because of the flora and the trees it kind of looks like Sweden but then again it's kind of similar yeah you know well let's view the su summary and it wasn't too bad it wasn't too bad at all I got a bunch of points not the maximum points I mean I I think in all my time of playing this game, I got once the maximum points. And it was like three kilometers away, and that was right on, on my first try as well. That was amazing. But, and that's why maybe why I got hooked to the game. But there we go. Quite a bad ending for me. But then again, what can you do? What can you do? Well, let's try again. Let's play the same map again. If I could click here, it's going to give me challenges and all that. But I'm going to play the same map again, which is basically the world. So look at this. I don't know what this car is. Could it be China? Could it be China? Let's see. So what is that thing? That's a Volvo. That... Oh, I know. Okay, so I don't know what this car is because this is Northern US. Or, or another Northern America. North America. Oh, hi. How's it going? Sometimes you see people as well. And they tell you a bit as well. You can tell that... Oh, what is this? Oh, look at that. This That's Cyrillic. So this has got to be Eastern Europe. Probably Russia. Uh, so yeah, that car I don't know because it is a Russian car, but that there right there I think I can't really read. I think that's a Rocky Rocky Let's read Rocky unless I'm wrong on that, but I think so. So I have no idea what that means um, Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't be able to tell got some Renaults. Oh, could it be Albania? Or something of the sort. Let's guess Albania. Let's go to Albania right there and this game also tells you if you're not too familiar with where all the you know, all the countries are like, for example, you're gonna be, you're gonna say Albania, but where in the world is Albania? Is it over there? No, it's not over there. It's right here. And you can tell, you can look for it. It's pretty cool. Let's see, that's Romania. I was pointing at Romania. It's kind of similar to the name, but it's a completely different one. Albania is down here. Let's say that it's Albania. South, maybe? Look at the sky. The sky rarely, rarely tells you anything, but I'm gonna say Southern, Southern Albania. Let's make a guess. Oh, terrible. It's Russia, but it's northern Russia, so completely, completely off the mark. Yeah, sometimes it happens like that. Oh, look at this. Where are we right now? We drive on the right side of the road. That is apparently an American car, because I don't know what it is. Or it could be an Audi or a Mitsubishi Galant. Kind of looks like one a little bit. The resolution here is kind of terrible. But we got a big, big truck, so this is definitely the US or Canada. So I would say it's US. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure Canada also uses these lines, the yellow lines, in the middle of the road. I have no idea what they mean, but there we go. There's something written right there. I can't tell. It's gonna be tough. So let's guess. Let's. Oh, wait a minute. Let's guess. Uh, Mississippi, something around here, something around the southern, southern area. Alabama. Yeah, Louisiana, something like this. Yeah, let's go with that. And it kind of looks like it a little bit with the, tr the trees and all that. Yeah, let's make that guess. Oh, very close. Very close, West Virginia. Hmm, Ohio, actually. Ohio. Uh, Ohio is ha hard to tell. I, every, every time I've seen something in Ohio, I always tell something it's something else. I, I, no, it's it's different. It's it's, uh, it's not different, it's just uh, it has multiple 
very many different locations that are very different from each other, at least from what I can tell. It says something Deng? Mpan Deng. So this is Africa? No. It kinda looks like No, this can be Africa. This I mean it could be. There's a car here. You can tell that there's a car here. <laughs> There's also a car, okay, so what is that? Could that be something else entirely? Because this looks... It could be Asia, though. Kind of nasty. Is it Asia? Yeah, I think so. Oh, there's something written right there. What is that? Oh, photography. It speaks English. Or, at least, there's English in here. That's cool. That's always cool. Let's see. Also throws us into a kind of a problem, because... All the world speaks English, or most of the world. Can I'm trying to go there, but uh, internet, dang internet. Uh, yeah. Well, I am gonna get. This kind of looks like it could be anywhere, really. It could at this point, it could be anywhere. I, I'm judging by the landscape. This has gotta be like southern, southern Europe. I'm a bang there. It, pro, it could, no. This is a small car. I know what this is. It's one of those small vans. What the? Nah, this is probably like. Um, Burundi or something, not Burundi, what the hell am I talking about? This thing here, this big island right here, Indonesia, yeah, but it's not Indonesia, the Brunei, That's, they have different names, oh, god damn it, uh, <laughs> they have different names, what is this big island right here, yeah, Brunei, right there, For Malaysia, could be Malaysia, let's guess Malaysia, uh, yeah, let's go with that, and, oh, very close, very, very close, Oh man, if you play, if you pay attention to the little details, if you just spend a little bit of time looking at things, and looking at how beautiful every landscape is, it's just so amazing. Even if it's in a city, it's always so interesting. I love this game. Absolutely love this game. So this looks like... United Kingdom. I'm trying to... Yes, because I... That roads... They, this doesn't look like Finland or Sweden or anything, because usually you got the big, you know, hilly roads and all of that. You could get closure, but it could be Sweden. Or, you know, that, that big, big peninsula right there it's really really big as well but I I think this is oak I don't know the names I know what it is um, chestnut nope this kind of doesn't look like anything of the sort so forget what I'm saying oh this is maple 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 or maple I don't know it looks like maple maybe but it definitely I, I'm gonna guess I'm gonna guess England or Wales maybe gonna, yeah you should if you want the, the scores, you need to go, yeah, but let's guess Wales. Let's go big or go home. And, oh, so close, so close. So I guessed, I guessed here, 100 House. Oh, interesting name. But we got, this was Deddington, or actually, Ladwell. Oh, I wouldn't know where that is. I wish, I wish I could go, I had gone there. I, I want to travel. It's England, it's not Wales. It's near Oxford. Oh, okay. So that we, there we go. Fantastic. Now for the last one and the last one that I'm gonna do in this little Colonel RPG plays GeoGasser. This looks like Southern America. Bolivia, maybe of some some of the sort. Oh, look at the mountains. It's it's amazing. It is amazing. Man, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> I love this game. Yeah, I'm gonna guess Andes region. I wouldn't know where in particular, but I'm gonna guess Andes region and maybe we're gonna end this one. Not Chile, no, something, yeah, Bolivia. Let's go with Bolivia and see where this is. Close enough, close enough, Peru. I was right, it's the Andes. I think the Andes, yeah. It's the Andes, right there, right there, just wrong country. So let's see, a little bit of a better score, I really failed on that one. Well, it's kind of hard to tell, it's kind of hard to tell, because this looks all the same to me. You're going to be able to tell depending on, like, the like the weather type stuff, if it's colder or not. So that's basically your indication, but sometimes you're going to guess it's here and it's going to be on the other side of the country. Uh, but yeah, there we go, that was pretty awesome, and I'm very satisfied. This is my first recording attempt at this one, eh? I didn't, I didn't really know if I was going to make myself look bad at this, but I think I've, I've done a pretty good job. The game is telling me and my mouse cursor is kind of going crazy right now, so I'm going to put it right here. 
And I guess it's time to say goodbye. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I really hope that you like this game and share with me on, on this thing. Because it, it tells you about the world. It tells you about a lot of places. And it's very, very fun. Very, very beautiful. So, for now, I'm Colonel RPG and this has been GeoGuessr. I really, really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Yeah, by all means, leave a comment down below. Say what you feel about this and your scores and share. Just share. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel for lots, lots of RPG goodness and other games that I play as well, including this one, which has nothing to do with role-playing games. But, alas, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you some other time. Bye-bye.